What's going on guys, CryptoHo here, and in this video, I wanna cover two things. The first one is their new and improved website, how they changed it, what does it have to offer, and I'm gonna be doing some little test runs, also connecting my wallet, and uh, trying to buy some carbon credits, and checking out the carbon credit projects, but I'm gonna give you guys a big spoiler alert, which is, if you're in certain regions of the world, such as United States, where I'm, I'm currently living at, um, you won't be able to buy any carbon credits, okay? And I'm going to show you that here in just a bit. So that's one thing I'm going to cover here. The second thing I'm going to cover is the affiliate brands. I have some questions exactly how this is going to work because so far the team hasn't really been uh, straightforward, very clear. Their answers has always been like um, not straightforward. We haven't really gotten a satisfied answer on how all of this is going to work. Um, although I got to say we have this right here. So we have the diagram showing us more or less how this is going to work. But the question is, how are the affiliate brands um, going to know about the purchase when you make the purchase on their platform? Um, or, or where is the purchase going to take place? Is it going to take place here on their platform? Or do you have to go to their website? So uh, let's say if I if I go to like uh, Under Armour, do I have to go on their website? And um, how, how do they report the transactions to IMPT so that I can earn those tokens, IMPT tokens, or with HP, Fila, like all these brands, like any brands that you can imagine, uh, Nike, Champion, like Netflix, like, okay, so let's say Netflix, do I have to connect my wallet? Uh, you know, so those things I'm gonna kind of, uh, like express my sentiment regarding that here in this video. But first, let's uh, take a look here at their website. So on their website, they have made some very, very nice improvements, I gotta say. If we were to compare it on their previous uh, website through the Wayback Machine, this was back in December 30th, 2022, so not too long ago, we can see that, um, of course, it's not perfect, it's missing some, right here, some words. Um, but uh, overall, the theme, it looks very, very like outdated, it looks very, very old. And this is how IMPT token used to look like on their website, on their page. Now on the new one, it looks more modernized, more up to date. It looks more clean, the feel, everything looks nice. It's more presentable. It's more pleasant on the eyes, I gotta say, with the curved edges. And everything looks nice. It looks very appealing, I gotta say. So, uh, you know, kudos for them for making this good job. But even out of all of this, and, uh, and also out of their AMAs, we can see on the price that it hasn't been very favorable. It hasn't been on their favor. Uh, we can see that their price has dropped. Uh, it has tried to like pick up a little bit, but there's too much resistance and they haven't really been able to um, break that resistance, that ceiling, and it always stays below uh, the one cent. It hasn't really been able to break through the one cent. And, I, and just keep in mind that this price right now at 0 0.009, it is half the price. In other words, it's 50% lower than what it was on the initial pre-sale. So we can go here on this news article and we can see that uh, the initial price per IMPT token was 0 0.018. It's just below two cents at the beginning of the pre-sale and it gradually increased to the current price of 0 0.023. So the price in, in the beginning, it has increased to 0 0.023. And uh, when I first started on their first uh, pre-sale stage or tier, it was the price of 0 0.018 again right below two cents and pretty much it has slash half of this now so instead of being at 0 0.018 now it's a 0 0.009 so let's take a quick look here at the chart and that is the current price so in spite of having a better looking website having amas here uh, from the team in spite of having all of this it still hasn't been able to provoke any significant uh, increase on the value of this token on the price of this token now, why is that? To be honest, I'm not exactly sure the reason why, but my, uh, I guess my uh, thought about this is that most people are not really interested on the project. Uh, most investors were interested on the pre-sale than on the actual project itself. And this is something I've been saying, you know, for quite a while on my channel on many of these pre-sales, not just for IMPT token, but for all of these uh, uh, pre-sales that are happening going on. There's a pre-sale going on and a new, there's a new pre-sale happening almost every day. Now let's say that you're interested on buying a carbon credit. How is that going to work? So I'm going to show you here uh, uh, the process of how this works. Just keep in mind that these carbon credits are actually NFTs. OK, so it, when we go here to the white paper, uh, we can see here that you choose a project. You're going to uh, pay with IMPT tokens. You purchase a carbon credits, which are then transferred into 
uh, NFTs, okay? Essentially, those carbon credits are NFTs, and then you can decide if you wanna burn, sell, or hold. And I covered this already on previous videos on IMPT token, when I reviewed their project and kinda explained this more in depth, but that's pretty much what it is. So let's go back here, and the first thing you have to do is to connect your wallet. So let me go ahead and connect my wallet real quick. Once you have already connected your wallet, you're gonna notice here that in order for you to buy uh, a carbon credit, you need to be KYC, like it says right here, complete KYC to verify your identity required for all carbon credit purchases. So that's not a big deal, but you're gonna see what's gonna happen right here next. Uh, and then you get to choose the, uh, the projects. So let's say that I wanna get KYC uh, first, right? If I wanna buy a carbon credit. And like I said in the beginning of this video, that if you're in the United States and other regions, other countries, you won't be able to do so. So when we click here on verify, uh, it takes us here to this other page and it says verify your identity and just very uh very common things like from other places as well like crypto.com and other exchanges where you need to do kyc um, it's a very similar uh process so you need to provide some sort of uh, bank statement utility or governorship documents for the past three months and then also your id passport or driver license and you click continue and you could just read here the terms and you accept you consent and you click next and here's the question now ask you if you live in any of these countries okay including the united states which is where i'm at if you click yes and you click continue it says we are sorry but we cannot continue the process so now this is one thing you need to keep in mind about this that if you're in the, in, in the united states sorry uh you won't be able to actually make any of these uh purchases um that's pretty much the process but the sucky part is that um, you know, based on this article right here, the U.S. consumer market alone makes up almost 30%, well, 29%, but almost 30% of the global consumer spending. So the one of the biggest consumers in the world is the United States. So it would be a good idea to include or add the United States into, into this market, whoever wants to buy carbon credits or whoever's interested, so that they can, you know, uh, you know, help, I guess, sell more of these NFTs. But for some reason, it's limited. I'm not sure what is the limitations caused by or what, what it is. Maybe there's laws involved. I'm not sure, to be honest. But the point is that if, in, if you're in the US, you won't be able to buy any of these NFTs. And that could possibly be a reason why the price is you know is hurting. Uh, I don't think it's the 100% cause of it, but it could be just part of the reason. Now, when we go over here, let me just get uh, go back here real quick. Let's say that you wanna buy this, you can click on it and you get to choose how many you wanna buy. But again, since I am not KYC, even if I put here how many I wanna buy, if I wanna buy one or if I wanna buy two, it tells me here how much I wanna buy, I can't purchase it because again, I am not KYC because I am the in, in the United States, I am not in the UK, I am not in other parts of the world, like I, I shows here uh, previously, that if you're in those regions, uh, then you're not allowed, I guess you can't buy. But anyways, you guys get the point, I don't wanna just uh, talk too long on this uh, subject, but that's one thing to keep in mind if you plan to buy carbon credits. Now, one of my biggest concerns on this project is the affiliate brands. How exactly is this going to work? How are the brands going to know of your purchase? How are they going to link your purchase so that you can earn IMPT token? Because again, on the same article, and like I also covered this on previous videos, this is what is going to happen. So pretty much you get to buy your favorite products and brands, and at the same time, by using their platform, you get to earn IMPT token. And like it says here, these affiliates uh, partnerships allow individual users to acquire IMPT token by shopping at these retailer stores. Once you acquire IMPT token, you can exchange them for carbon credits and get NFTs that can be sold on the IMPT marketplace or held for a long-term value. So again, you get to spend uh, on your favorite brands and your favorite stores and you get to earn IMPT token. Now, I tried asking this uh, today as well. This is how I kind of presented my question. I said, how can IMPT register users purchase products from your affiliate retailers and their brands and acquire IMPT tokens from those transactions? Also, when are uh, also when you buy carbon credits, credits, where does the money go to? So there's some questions that they haven't really been answered fully. They, I, I've seen some of their AMAs. They have given some answers, but it hasn't really been addressed fully. 
And like I said earlier as well, even if we have this right here, um, how are they linking the transactions with the retailers and vice versa, linking the transactions with the retailers with the IMPT token? How is that connection being made? What uh, system, what software are they using so they can communicate back and forth? So does that mean if I go to, uh, let's say to a Puma store or an HP store, whether that's in person or online, how do they know that I made that purchase? Do they report those transactions to IMPT token? And right here, because if we were to go here on the website, there's no place here that allows me to buy for these brands. Like none of these are clickable. They're just like stickers on a page, okay? So let's say if I wanna buy HP, for example, or I wanna buy Lacoste, or anything or nike if i click on it it doesn't do anything or netflix I, it doesn't allow me to do any uh, there's no action here to be made on their page so where can i go to do that if, and if i go to the faq um it only there's only like four questions and if you notice the questions they're pretty much uh focus on the nfts part of it on, on you purchasing their token and nfts as not they're not addressing anything to do with the affiliate brand so let me show you the first one is how do i get started with an uh, impt as i start using impt you only need to register and log on into the system via metamask email or external providers after that you'll be able to access a list of projects that offer carbon credits and enter an NFT marketplace where you can sell and purchase NFTs. Okay, so again, it's all about their NFTs. And then right here, where does the money, um, how can I make sure the money, that my money goes to the legitimate projects? It says, all projects that offer carbon credits to our platform are previously audited by third party organizations to ensure their credibility. So I, again, right here, it doesn't say how, when you make a purchase goes to them, all they, all they really say is that the projects that they offer a carbon credit through the platform has been audited through a third party the third party audit let me show you guys here all that means is that they're uh, verifying that that project or that company is using carbon credits okay is is somehow linked to the carbon credit but not this carbon credit guys all right not the nft version because impt has their version of carbon credits okay is it's like the nft version of it it is tokenized all right so if i were to go here to carbon credit projects all right and let's say if i were to choose uh let's say this one from australia and if i were to scroll down uh, if I go here, where it says see project here, and then it takes me to the actual page. And you see here at the bottom, it says status of production is audited. So it's, it's already audited and it says here audit statement. So yes, this project, your uh, Puro Earth, okay? It is uh, audited and it is legit. It is, uh, they're working on reducing carbon emissions, which is great. That is awesome. But this doesn't tell us that when we make a purchase on the NFTs here on their IMPT token, that money is going to them, which is why I asked the question here. Also, when you buy carbon credits, where does the money go to? And they haven't really provided a clear answer, like all that money, like, is it all sent to the carbon credit project? Like the ones that we saw here, um, where, where is that really going to? Like, uh, we haven't really gotten a clear answer. And, and if you guys know, feel free to share your thoughts. But um, yeah, this is uh, one of my uh, like concerns that I have about this project. How are they making these connections? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you find this video to be helpful and informative, make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and hit the bell so you never miss another update. If you want to learn more about this project, check out my other videos right here. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.